tonight, every city and town in Maine is interested in boosting its economy. 20 or 30 years ago, a lot of them thought that the best way to do that was by trying to attract a company that would bring a lot of jobs in one stroke. In just about every case, that strategy was a bust. Most communities have come to realize they're better off trying to improve the assets they already have. And as Rob Caldwell found out, there's a clear example of that going on right now in the city of Gardner. When snow is falling, downtown Gardner looks timeless, like an image from a vintage Christmas card. Johnson Hall, the theater in the heart of town, fits right in because it really is from another era. Johnson Hall is 154 years old. It was built in 1864. Uh, it really is an accompaniment to what used to be the hotel next door. Over the decades, the ground floor was home to various stores, and the third floor was put to a number of uses. It was just a big open space. They had roller skating. We found all kinds of signs that said, you know, bad skaters on the inside, good skaters on the outside, no spitting. Then, for a little while, Johnson Hall became home to racier entertainment. There was a group called Satan's Daughters. It was a dance group that was a burlesque group that apparently set the community uh, ablaze. They were not happy, so shortly after that, they did a renovation uh, and turned it into an opera house. So they raked the seating, put a balcony in, extended the stage, and there was a big sign out front that said, Johnson Hall Opera House presenting polite vaudeville suitable for women. After vaudeville faded, Johnson Hall was a movie theater from the 1920s to 50s. Then it fell on hard times and was mothballed. Live entertainment started to come back in the late 1980s. No question, the place has a certain spirit. The band The Ghost of Paul Revere was so captivated it shot a video here. The news now is that a small paid staff and a lot of volunteers and donors are working to raise money to renovate Johnson Hall and transform it into the jewel of downtown Gardner. Give me a sense of the numbers. How much is it going to take to turn this place into what you all envision? Yeah, so the, the final number is $4.9 million and that sounds like a lot, right? Um, but when you break it up into smaller goals, it makes it more attainable and you can celebrate every little step along the way. When I stepped into this space, two things came to mind. Boy, this place has a heck of a lot of potential and <laughs> boy, does this place need a lot of work. It does. <laughs> yeah, it needs about uh, $5 million worth of work. <laughs> yeah. Johnson yeah. Hall started the major well, fundraising well. campaign in 2016 and in a little over two years has raised $3 million. About 50 live shows a year are already being held in the smaller theater where we talked, but the big goal is to completely redo the larger theater upstairs, creating a live entertainment space that can accommodate 400 people and bring a new energy to Gardner. Part of what you do, I imagine, when you talk to people is you give them a vision of what could be. Yes. What do you tell them? I tell them, just imagine uh, a theater that will bring in even more people into our community than it already does now. It'll bring people in to shop, people in to eat, people in to spend the night, um, and put their dollars into our community. When you just look around, yeah. walk around this room, which I know you do once a <laughs> week or so. Once a week, yes. What goes through your head? I, well, me, I'm a visual guy, so I'm, I, I just imagine it. I walk around and I imagine what it'll be like on opening night when, you know, there's brand new seats in here and brand new carpet and, and the stage is, you know, the curtain is set and, and there's house music playing and people are starting to file in. I can, I can feel it. Johnson Hall still has to raise nearly $2 million. Falling short is not an option. And you sound like someone who's 100% confident that the goal is going to be met. There doesn't I am 100% confident, yes. It's just a matter of when, not a matter of if. One of the things that you're doing that I think is interesting is you really want to get children in here and you want to get families in here. If you're not getting younger people to value what you do, they, they talk about it in baseball all the time. They said that, you know, the younger people aren't watching baseball anymore and that's going to eventually down the road could mean the demise of, you know, I mean, it'll never happen. But, but so for us, it's a similar thing of going like, you know, we've got to get younger people to come in and go, Johnson Hall is something that I did as a kid. Mike Micklon already has big plans for the first show in the newly refurbished theater. I've told everybody for years, so I'm going to have to make it happen, that Lyle Lovett will be my, my opening act. He does not know this yet, but if I have to kidnap him, whatever I have to do, he will, he will be here. 
If you want to see a show at Johnson Hall in Gardner, you don't have to wait for the renovation. The smaller theater is already presenting about 50 performances a year. You can find more information about the venue and upcoming shows on our website, newcentermain.com and our mobile app. When